Thank you, uh, Madam Chair, Ranking Member McHenry for holding this hearing. Thank you to the witnesses for being here today. Uh, I represent the first congressional district of New York, which encompasses much of Suffolk County on Long Island. My home district is full of people from all different walks of life and industries, and having access to cost-efficient investing is crucial. While there are always ways to make a system work better, our capital markets are the envy of the world with their liquidity and diversity of investment opportunities. Innovations in securities trading brought by the private sector have increased access for retail investors. Uh, for better or for worse, and this situation is a perfect example. Uh, for example, one of our witnesses here, Mr. G Mr. Gill, uh, or should I say Roaring Kitty, uh, turned $53,000 into almost $50 million, uh, and that's what you would call some deep you-know-what value. Of course, we know that not all those who invested in these stocks share the same success story. However, I want to highlight a potential vulnerability in these innovations. I've been concerned for some time in general with the sharing of U.S. individual user data with the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, I sent a letter, for example, to the Treasury Department in October 2019 expressing concern with the potential sharing of user information by TikTok to its parent company, ByteDance, and asked for a CFIUS review. Chinese companies are required by law to regulate online behavior that deviates from the political goals of the CCP, obey the CCP's censorship uh, directives, and participate in China's espionage. These policies regulate companies like TikTok in the China market and increasingly their overseas business. Webull and Moomoo are two examples of broker dealers that are subsidiaries of Chinese parent companies. According to Bloomberg, funds affiliated with Xiaomi Corp own at least 14% of Webull. Xiaomi is a Chinese company that risks being delisted from U.S. exchanges after the U.S. Department of Defense put the company on a blacklist on January 14, 2021. Moomoo is owned by Futu Holdings, which is a company that received a significant investment from entities affiliated with Tencent, a company with known ties to the CCP. On December 8, 2020, Bloomberg Businessweek ran an article on Webull stating the company, quote, has increased its roster of brokerage clients by about tenfold this year to more than two million by offering free stock trades with a slick online interface. On January 29, 2020, the day after trading activity for long trades on certain stocks discussed on Reddit threads were limited, Bloomberg ran an article with the headline, Robinhood rival Webull sees 16-fold jump in new trading accounts. It's clear that these apps have rapidly increased their user base, which has me concerned. Uh, Ms. Schulp, do you think we should be concerned about the potential for uh, Chinese entities with ties to the CCP receiving personally identifiable information or other user data from their subsidiary broker dealers that are licensed and registered in the US? I think it's a, a potential national security concern, which is a bit outside of my, my area of expertise. What I can say is that the rules that the brokers have to apply and, and comply with regarding personally identifiable inf information and other material data um, should be applied equally to companies that are based offshore and companies that are based onshore. Um, and I, I hope that that's the case with respect to Webull or any other competitors that are not domestically owned. Uh, having a, a diversity of choice for different trading apps is generally good for market competition. Uh, however, uh, is it good for, is it a good outcome for millions of Americans to flood into trading apps that could be required to share user data to parent companies that have ties to the CCP? Again, I think choice is, is key here, as well as understanding from a consumer perspective what you are, what companies you are choosing to do business with. Um, again, the national security concerns are, are a bit outside of my area of expertise. Well, I, I thank you for being here. Uh, this is uh, another angle to this issue with these new uh, options that are being provided to uh, average retail investors 
And we also, we want these retail investors uh, to have the most amount of information as possible to be set up for success. I yield back. Thank you very much.